begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. All right, let's do it. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who does it. Oh, before I forget, what is up, everyone? And welcome back to yet another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we did the investigation for this trial. And in this episode, we're going to go through at least probably about half of this trial. We'll see how, we'll see how far we get. So I hope you all are excited because I know I am. So let's do it. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. Oh, wait, did, also, did they put did they put a sign for Mono Kid? Your death. So a death sign? Vote for someone. Now, they really get you. Get they really clean. definitely get you, which awesome. I really like. About, which I really like about it. I think we all know who the most suspicious one is. It's... Let's combine our power and work together, everyone! Um... The person who's most suspicious is... Love that. The culprit. <laughs> she's, just, she's just avoiding him at all costs. Because the murder happened during the magic show, the culprit can only be... Definitely 20 uh, events of three. I know, right? <laughs> Why are you interrupting me? We can't have a good trial if you talk. Cause you're wrong, Kokichi. You're wrong. It's not Himiko or Anji. I'm not interrupting you. I'm not interrupting you. I'm just uh, hoping you don't talk about Himiko because she's my love. She's my love. <laughs> Whatever you have to say is probably worthless anyway. Because all males want to talk about is S E. So cut her off. Bet you. Himiko seems suspicious. Oh, Angie. Angie, really? Okay. Damn. Hey, Angie. How can you accuse Himiko? Damn, Angie. That's fucked up. Telling you what Atua is telling me. Mm -mm. He is using his divine knowledge to show us the way to survive. I'm, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you all this now. I don't think it's Angie or Himiko. I think it's somebody else. It's. It'd be way too obvious for. It'd be way too obvious for them to, to do it. So I didn't mean to get. Eh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Screw Atua. That guy's got nothing on me. I'll protect Himiko. But it does point to Himiko being the most suspicious. Have y'all played the previous Dying Onpa games? It's never a person who's the most obvious. Ryoma died during Himiko's magic show. His body You would think that logic would go through their minds that it, it, it couldn't be the most obvious person, but I guess not. It's only natural we suspect Himiko. She was the one performing the trick. That's wrong. The underwater escape wasn't a trick. It was magic. It's not the part you need to deny. <laughs> you gotta tell us you're not the culprit. Magic, huh? That's so cool. What a mysterious miracle. Now, did you kill Ryoma, Himiko? Atua will hear your confession. That freaking face, man. Stop it! There's no way any of that is true. And I agree with that. It's true, though. Himiko used the underwater escape trick to kill Ryoma. But I still don't have a clue how Himiko did the trick. There's no trick. Oh, poor Himiko. It really was magic. <laughs> oh, poor Himiko. You know, maybe it really was magic. Oh, stop it. If you don't reveal your trick now, then we'll vote you as the culprit. And... Stop picking on Himiko! A cute tiny flower like her couldn't kill anyone. I agree with that. I She's too lazy to kill somebody. But that might be a Because it, it'd be too much work for her. That's why I don't... That's why I... That's one of the reasons... That's one of the other reasons why I know it's not her. As I, as I expected. Yeah, let's suspect Himiko. But I have my doubts. 
I can't let this case get derailed by misunderstandings. I'm the ultimate detective, so it's up to me. All right, let's do it. Non-stop debate. Start. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? File two, scratch tan cut, square glass pane, water tank trick. Okay, let's see what people have to say. The culprit used the underwater escape trick to pull off a sneaky switcheroo with Riona. After that, the time ran out. The tank of our Riona opened and oh, shoot. came pouring out. Okay, that's true. Ah, he was eating the water. Yeah, that's true. Eaten to bone by piranhas. Savage way to go. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. Love that. The underwater escape was no trick. It's magic. Oh, my bad. <laughs> we heard you the first time, Titless. No one God there. damn. <laughs> Your almost body was eaten by the prize that fell into the tank. Thank you for trial, but it's just 30 games of Hangman's game. I know, right? Your almost body was eaten by the prize that fell into the tank. That is a fact, but that doesn't mean it was the cause of death. Okay. Has blessed me with an epiphany. Oh, shoot. The culprit used the underwater escape trick. To pull up a sneaky switcheroo with Riona. Okay. After that, the time ran out. The tank about Riona opened and piranhas came That is true. Ah, he was, he was not eating life. It's not that one. We know that. Okay, so it's not. It's not. It's gonna be that one. Just which one is it gonna be? Hold on. Handcuffs. Scratch handcuffs. Uh, locked handcuffs that were in the escape tank for the underwater escape act. Since it was made of out of stainless steel, it was a difficult it was difficult to leave any marks, but small scratches were still visible. Seems so I've been taken out of the shower room in the Ultimate Tennis Pro's lab. Okay. And what are the other ones? Hold on. Before I before I ask for a hint, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at everything we have first. Square glass pane. Square glass pane that was at the bottom of the piranha tank where Riona's body had appeared. The other bits of glass were shattered, but this pane is made perfectly square. Okay. What was the other one that we had? Water tank trick. The hatch near the top of that opens the water tank escape. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the uh, scratched handcuffs. Oh, that's wrong. We heard I'm tipped. Yeah, hold on. That was that is fact, but that doesn't mean it's caused death. Atua has blessed me with an epiphany. Okay. The culprit used the underwater trick to pull up a sneaky switch with Riona. Okay. After that, the time ran. The tank of Arbryoma opened and piranhas came pouring uh -huh. out. Uh ah, And he was eaten alive. I'll try this one. Oh, dang it. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> but Riona was chomped up by pir piranhas. Okay. Need better evidence than that. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. I, oh, jeez. It took a lot of damage from that. Okay. Okay, so it's not. Blessed me with an epiphany. The cult. Square glass pane that was at the bottom of the piranha tank where Ryoma's body had appeared. The other bits of glass were shattered, but this. Okay, yeah, hit me up with that hint. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Or oh, maybe it's going to be the. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Victim was the ultimate tennis pro. The victim's body was discovered. The cause of death was drowning afterward. The victim's body was. <gasps> wait, no! Okay, I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. It's going to be the monocum of file. To pull up a rule with Ryoma. Okay, that's true. No, he was not. He, he, it was drowning. There we go. We got it. Hell yeah. No, Ryoma's death was not caused by the piranhas. The Monokuma file indicates the cause of death is drowning. So it wasn't the piranhas then. He was drowned. Ooh, I see. I haven't checked the Monokuma file yet, so that's an issue. Seriously? What? Why is nobody reading the Monokuma file? That's like the mo that's one of the most important things. Whatever. <laughs> you, you lying little brat! Telling lies is what turns you into a degenerate male. <laughs> so what? Ryoma drowned. Himiko changed places with him, and then the piranhas ate him. Right? No. Himiko you get the tablet and just play Flappy Bird. <laughs> Even if they change places at the start of the show, that's insufficient time to drown someone. If that is the case, then when did he? There were handcuffs. He was. 
He's probably held by something. Something probably held him down. Because he had handcuffs that were on him. That were on his hands. When did Ryoma drown? It was obviously... Speaking of when Ryoma drowned. Probably after... No, no. Before the show started, right? That's it! Ryoma was already drowned before the show started. <laughs> Agreed. Before being eaten by the piranhas, he made no attempt to escape the water. Yeah, because he couldn't, because he was handcuffed. To be precise, he made no movements whatsoever. Yes. By that point, he had already joined the ranks of the dead. Could that mean his body was hidden until the culprit made it appear in the tank? Hidden? Where? The culprit would have had to hide the body near the tank and then show it during the act. Easier said than done. Was there a place on stage where the culprit could have hid the body? Oh, wait. Himiko should know since she performed the underwater escape trick. Himiko. Why won't you just explain it to us? Cause it's magic. Come on, Himiko. <laughs> I don't mean I don't mean to ruin your, your hopes and dreams, but like it's not magic. It's just a trick in every magic trick. I'm sorry. <laughs> and no, maybe it really was magic. Shut up. <laughs> Damn. Shut up, Gonta. <laughs> Magician's code. Oh yeah. Exactly. Magician's code. Himiko is committed to her act, but those who deal in dreams are oft liars. Why is everyone still picking on Himiko? You're all worse than a drunk dad's ramblings. We should let him vent. After all, it's tough being the man of the house. And we gotta figure out how the trick works to find where the body was hidden. But Himiko does not wish to tell us. There is a pain, right? Her act. Then let's work together to reveal the secrets behind Himiko's trick! So, not real magic? Come on, Gonta. <laughs> no, it was real magic. Magic. Whoa. Magic. Magic. You good there, Himiko? Oh, no! It's Himiko's curse! Her curses are really powerful! Aren't incantations usually more... Um, complicated than that? <laughs> anyway, we first need to determine how Himiko performed the trick. If we can't figure that out, this case is going nowhere. Okay, here we go again. How did I'm pretty sure it's going to be the, the water, tank. water tank trick. What was that one again? Hatch near the top that opens. Yeah, it has to be this one, maybe. We'll see. He should just climb out and no one noticed. Nah, she definitely would have been caught. Perhaps the mechanism was set up yes. to stay. Uh, wait, no, 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 wait, actually, hold on. <laughs> but let's listen to everybody first. Suspicious. What about that square pane of glass we found in the tank? Maybe the tank had a secret hatch. Yes. I agree. Hey, look at that. I like that. <laughs> Maki and Chuichi. Hell yeah. Break. Maki is correct. There was an escape hatch on that tank. I see. So it did have one. That's right. I discovered a similar tank in Himiko's lab. Got that B consent. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. There was a panel mm -hmm. on the side that could open. That was her escape. It's funny because V means the gooba. <laughs> Mind over oh, here we go. Hmm? What do you mean? And you don't even know why you're wrong either, typical degenerate male. I'll smash in your face with my fists of hot burning steel. Okay, here we go. Rebuttal showdown. Scrolls playing Grand Piranhas. What staircase? 
of the tank being open. Doesn't have anything to do with Himiko's escape. She didn't use an escape hatch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I, th I, I think I know. I think I know what it is. And now I'm gonna punch you. I, I think I know which one it is. Wait a second. Before you punch <laughs> Please don't punch me. <laughs> what makes you so sure she didn't? It's gonna be the staircase, right? The wet staircase? Because if she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water oh, would have gushed out with her. There would have been water everywhere. Ah, there we go, got it. I'll cut through your words. Hell yeah. Oh, we didn't get the V consent. We didn't get the V, but it's fine. Do you don't punch people in Aikido? <laughs> There's a reason the room wasn't flooded with water. The staircase that was attached to the water tank. I can't, I can't forget that I have focus to get that to get those V's those V those V stuff. It was aligned perfectly with the tank's escape hatch. Meaning the water tank was connected to the inside of the staircase. Mm -hmm. Inside staircase? His body was in stairs? Knowing that, it's clear how Himiko made her escape from underwater. There was a curtain covering the tank mm -hmm. during the performance. Make, okay. So that's what the curtain was for. Okay. Allowing Himiko to enter the staircase from the hatch undetected. Any water that spilled out <coughs> would have simply funneled into the staircase. So how do you get out from the staircase? The staircase also has an escape hatch, one facing away from us. Mm -hmm. It's placed so that the water would not drain from the staircase. In which case, a person could exit and leave water inside the staircase. However, that person would be soaked, meaning that some trace should be left. That would explain why there was a puddle around the stairs. So when Himiko came out from the stairs, her wet clothes dripped water all over. Ha <laughs> ha, bitch! Damn. Caught you soaking wet and red-handed! Aw. Aw, Himiko, I feel, I feel bad for her. Judging from Himiko's reaction, you hit it right on the bullseye. But Himiko's clothes should have been wet when she left the water tank. Behold, a magnificent underwater escape. Her clothes were definitely not wet. Of course. That's because my underwater escape wasn't <laughs> It was magic. Aw, Himiko, it's okay. No, magic had nothing to do with why her clothes weren't wet. No, magic had nothing to do. Okay. She changed her uniform. She never went into the water. She changed her uniform. That's it. It's because she changed her uniform. The dormitory is stocked mm -hmm. with uniforms. Did you hide one behind the stage in advance? <laughs> I feel that's feel so bad. I'm, ta I'm taking her innocent, childlike nature away from her. I feel so bad. I'm sorry. I remember seeing Himiko go to the gym this morning, carrying a uniform and a towel. <laughs> ah! Why would you say that? I see. She had a towel too. She may not have had time to fully dry her hair. But her short hair and hat ensured we were none the wiser. Himiko can't get wet! Because her body repels water! What? What do you mean repels water? Huh? Like a duck. <laughs> Samuki. Samuki and her just little one liner is just funny. Himiko, come on. Give it up already. Fine. You win. Aww. It's just like you said. The water tank and staircase both have mechanisms. So I was correct. What? But, but that doesn't mean I use them. I didn't need them, because I used my magic. A 
again with the magic crap. <laughs> oh my gosh. You dropped on your head as a kid? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn you. Now that we understand how the trick was performed, let us move on. Yes, let us proceed. Where did the culprit hide Ryoma's body? From our discussion earlier, his body could have been in the space inside the staircase. But that's where Himiko would escape from, right? So Himiko went in the stairs with the body? What kind of kinky shit is she into? Come on, Mew. Not, not everything's sexual. Come on. That seems unlikely. There isn't enough space for two people to fit in there. Yeah, the stairs are pretty cramped. It'd be hard to fit even Ryoma and Himiko in there. Who says they went in together? She could have made the switch as she was leaving the tank. At the same time, she could have pulled out the body from inside the stairs. That way she'd have room to put herself in there. See how easy that is. I think that explains how Himiko changed places with Ryoma's body. Wait a minute! Why did you automatically assume it was Himiko? Who else but Himiko could have done it? Oh, they could say you. Oh, Himiko, I'm so sorry. I know it's not her, though. It can't be her. You spent more time with Himiko than any of us, so why are you accusing her? Aw, Tinko. You may think you're protecting Himiko, but what if she really is the culprit? We'll all die, and it will be all your fault. Atua will lose precious devotees. Are you okay with that, Tenko? I'm totally fine with that. What? I don't care what anyone says. Himiko would never murder yeah, someone. Yeah, I agree with that. That's what I believe more than anything. She, she yeah, she wouldn't. I, I believe that. She, 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 she's too lazy. She, she, she's too lazy to murder someone. She's too sweet. She's she's too she's too into magic to actually kill kill and murder somebody. So I I I believe I believe Tenko. And Himiko. And I want to believe in her, no matter what. If I can't do that, then I'd rather just die. Damn, she really has a thing for Himiko, doesn't she? So until this body <clears throat> takes its final breath, I'm gonna keep believing in Himiko. <laughs> Kokichi's like, <laughs> oh my god, shut up. Oh my oh my gosh. Okay. They're bo oh, they're both in the middle. Okay. All right. Let's. The only one who could have switched out Ryoma's body is Himiko herself. Okay. When Himiko was escaping the tank, she dragged out the body hidden in the stairs. Okay. And simply switched places with it. Are you telling me you saw that happen? No one could have seen that. It would have occurred in the middle of the show. Mm -hmm. When the tank was covered with a curtain. So basically, no one saw anything. Probably, it's probably this one. I, I didn't do it, I swear. I believe you. I believe you, Himiko. Ryoma's corpse wasn't in the staircase. <sighs> Quit lying, you donkey lip con artist! She's not lying! Could be that one, too. She's not a con artist, and she doesn't have donkey lips! It is possible that Himiko and Ryoma switch places in the water, but... I feel like I'm forgetting an important point. The only one who... Wait, who, shoot, what are the options? Go into this account? Getting to the magic show and when the timer hit 20... Oh, you're right, it's gonna be this one, right? 20 seconds. Uh, Gonta went up on stage... Uh, when on top of the stage, no one was in the tank during that time. Gonta didn't notice Ryoma during the tank. It's gonna be, it has to be Ryoma's account. Or Kriyoma. It has to be, uh, it has to be Gonta's account. When Himiko was escaping the tent, stopped out the body hidden in uh, this one? Oh, no, nope, my bad. <laughs> if Ryoma drowned before the show, his body could have been hidden in the stairs, no? Plus, he doesn't eat that bit. Okay, I picked the wrong one. That's my bad. I was wrong. Oh, it's okay, Shuichi. <laughs> just a just small little mistake. Okay. Nope. 
and simply split places with you. Are you telling me you saw that happen? No one could have seen that. Okay. It would have occurred in the middle of the show. Okay. When the tank was covered with a curtain. Okay. So basically, no one's. Nope. Seen anything. This one right here. There we go. That's oh, we didn't get the V. Dang it. Oh, <laughs> we didn't get the V counter. It's okay. Break. Someone did see inside the tank. It was Gonta. Gonta had climbed onto the stage and was looking into the tank from above. Hell yeah, Gonta. Isn't that right, Gonta? Y yeah, Gonta saw down into tank, but saw no one in there. No one was in there? Yeah, no one. Guess that clue no good, huh? No, that's actually a great clue. Because... If Ryoma's body was hidden inside the staircase, Kimiko would have had to pull him out before she went inside. Mm -hmm. There certainly wasn't enough room in the staircase for both of them. But that means, if the tank was empty when Gonta looked, Ryoma's body must not have been hidden in the staircase. Had we had been, had been hidden somewhere else. What if they squeezed into that space <gasps> with Ryoma's body to avoid getting caught? He was hidden in the piranha tank. That has to be it. Wait, no, wait, 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 no, wait, no, 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 wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. Wait, no, he couldn't have been because it, sh it showed it. No, no, never mind, never mind. I'm dumb. Never mind, never mind. Let's let, let's keep going. <laughs> I'm, I'm dumb. He he couldn't have been hidden in the in the piranha tank because like it showed the piranhas fa falling. There's no body, so. Or maybe it is. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. She had no need to worry about Because it because the product tank was crammed, so. And Gonta, Gonta and Ryoma is small enough to fit in there, so that could it could maybe possibly be it. Then the culprit never would have considered hiding inside the staircase with the body. Entering the staircase after moving the body is much faster and seems more rational too. Then Ryoma's body wasn't hidden in the stairs? The only other place it could have been hidden was the tank. Someone better say where the fucking body was hidden. I think I know. I think I know. Where was Ryoma's body hidden? We need to pin that down. It's clear that it was not inside the staircase, but where? I think I know what this one is. Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? It wasn't real. Okay, let's, let's read all these first. Scratched handcuffs. Locks handcuffs that were in the water tank for the underwater escape act. Since it was made out of stainless steel, it's difficult to leave any marks, but small scratches were still visible. Seems to have been taken out of the shower room in, shower room in the ultimate tennis pro's lab. Prana tank. The water, the water tank that, uh, the water tank that had the piranhas inside it was kept in the ultimate magician's lab and it was carried over by Kaito Ikibo, Himiko, and Anji. During the magic show, it was hung over the ex water escape tank using the control panel for the stage lights. Only the front side was made out of glass. The other side was made out of wood. It looked like there was no lid, lid from the start. Okay. And what was the other one that we had? Water tank trick. And I don't think, I don't think it's going to be that one. We already, we already used this one. I don't think it'll be this one again. It's probably going to be a scratch tank. It's going to be one of these two, I think. There was only enough space for Himiko. Well, how about behind the curtain? If there was a way to enter the tank from there, then it would be plausible. Or maybe the body was in the tank all along, but we just couldn't see it. Impossible. You'd need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? No way! If you put a body okay, in let's there, see, let's see what Shuichi has to say. Would have eaten it way before we saw it. Oh yeah, you know what? That's true. Piranhas were separated. Then it wouldn't have been devoured, correct? Could be it. Yeah. Why was he not eaten by the piranhas, even though he was in the same tank? There was no one piece of evidence at the crime scene that might explain it. Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? It wasn't really in. Oh shoot. The stairs wasn't. What? Square After glass all, pane. Okay, what does that say actually? Square glass pane. Square glass pane that was at the bottom of the tank, at the piranha tank where Hiriyama's body had appeared. The other bits of glass were shattered, but this plane remains perfectly square. No. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's. Only enough space for Okay, that I agree with. 
Oh, well, that's not that one. Behind the curtain. If there was a way to enter the tank from there. Maybe? No. Then it would be plausible. Or maybe the body was in the tank all along. But we just couldn't see it. Okay. Impossible. You need top notch effects to pull that off. Oh shoot, I missed. <gasps> oh! Oh, pff, damn it. <laughs> yes, 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 this one right here. There we go. <laughs> I agree. Hell yeah. Feels hypothesis is correct. Consent. The yes. <laughs> were separated. Mhm. Mm the glass pane. This was accomplished using the square glass pane found in the That's what I thought. I just wasn't too sure. <laughs> just as I Mm -hmm. Using that glass pane as a divider, a safe space could be created in the tank. It is in such a space that the body could be stored, separated from the piranhas. Then that means Ryoma's body was hidden in the piranha tank the whole mm -hmm. time! The consent is so strange. So it's like Ryoma's they're saying you're interrupting me just right. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's funny. Go to knew it! What is it, Gonta? Gonta was above stage when piranhas fall. That's why Gonta sees something no one else could. When piranhas fell, Gonta sees some big thing fall into water tank with them. Oh. That's why I was crammed. And then. Bottom of the suspended tank swung open in murky water and shadowy shapes inside. He fell straight into the water tank. He was swimming in. No. Now that going to think about mm -hmm. it, so I was right earlier. Maybe see he was somehow in the uh, in the tank. That's why I was crammed. When the piranhas dropped from the tank, I thought I saw yeah, something okay. bigger drop as well. The water tank on the bottom is made completely out of glass, correct? Mm -hmm. You can see what is happening through the glass. Can you really hide a body in the tank? Even in murky water, a dead body would still be visible in a Yeah, but it was, cr it was cramped with other piranhas. That's the thing. Unless a certain something was used the piranhas. to secure the body. A certain something? We all agree that the glass pane was used to separate the body from the piranhas, correct? Well, that method has the added benefit of hiding the body from view. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah? How could you hide a body like that? How was the culprit able to conceal the body in the piranha tank? Cram piranhas. This is it! It was the piranhas. The piranhas were obscuring the body. Huh? The piranhas? That's right. Remember what Angie said during the investigation? That was it right, right as the show started. I feel like there are more piranhas today than yesterday when we were preparing. They increased that significantly? I didn't know piranhas fuck like rabbits. It seemed that way, but it wasn't that the actual number of piranhas increased. The glass pane divided the tank nearly in half, right? Sorry, I'm just like jamming out to the music. <laughs> the piranhas I'm, I'm jamming out and listening at the same time. It look like there were more of them. Both of these, in, actually. Ooh, that's even better. Ooh. <laughs> the harder it is to see past them. Because of that, it was difficult to see the body hidden in the tank. That glass pane was the lid from the piranha tank. Piranhas don't actually attack alive things. Oh, well, good to know. <laughs> it's good to know. So if I wanted to jump into a a, a pool full of a full of piranhas, I could just jump in. They won't attack. They won't attack me. <laughs> 
least you'd hope. They, they only attack things that aren't alive, right? Makes sense. I mean, Ryoma was already dead. Exactly. Gee, thanks for telling us that useless detail. What the heck are you saying? That detail was super useful. Pink Kokichi, man. Sure, the lid looks a little big, but if you set it diagonally, it would fit perfectly. Mm hmm Nice job, Himiko! Your explanation was awesome! With this much evidence, it seems like the body was definitely in the piranha tank. Congrats, Himiko! Now there should be no reason for anyone to suspect you. Mm, really? Aww. Yeah, because if you didn't switch places with the body, then you couldn't have killed him. It only means we now have other suspects. You are not cleared of suspicion just yet. Okay, but still, that's way better. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's wonderful news, Nico. <laughs> Freaking Angie, man. Apologize, Angie. You and your Atua better tell Himiko you're sorry right now. Atua is sick. <laughs> he went to bed of course. Because you all doubted him. What a petty ass god. No, it's okay. We shouldn't be mad at Angie. We should be mad at this class trial. At this killing game. There we go, Himiko. <laughs> Thank you so 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 funny. Well, it's too bad that the handsome god went to fun, that's angry, fun fact. Good to know. Keep them coming. Keep the fun facts coming. Himiko's still brainwashed, but I'm not giving up just yet. This is gonna be a breeze. Great. Now, what are we gonna do? We're back to square one. Are you really that surprised, though, Miu? <laughs> and why are we back to square one? Because any of us could still be the culprit. Jeez! You Je Jeff F. Stein didn't something. kill himself. Thanks for letting me know that. <laughs> nah, uh. Nah, uh. <laughs> we can narrow it down to whoever doesn't have an alibi yet. Eh? What alibi? I guess I should have known a dumb whore pig like you wouldn't understand. <laughs> So let me explain. Who you calling a <laughs> Aww. If there's this much evidence, then there's no mistake the body was hidden in the piranha tank. But for someone to plant the body in there with such limited time is pretty tricky. Dokichi brings up a valid point. There's only one time the culprit could have could have set this up. Could set up this case. Just before the show this morning. Making fun of me was the best thing in these trials. Uh, before the show. Wait, no? Was that before the show this morning? Nope, wrong! Oh, well. So much for that. No, it couldn't be day and night. It had to be before. That's it. Those game, you can't even go into the gym after after nighttime. It was done yesterday, before nighttime. Ding, ding, ding! The ultimate detective gets it right again! Oh, wait. How do you know it was before nighttime yesterday? Stop asking me dumbass questions. It could have been solved with the process of elimination. <laughs> Jeez. Fine. I'll explain it to the itty bitty pea brained bitchlet. Damn! Kokichi, go off, man. Oh my gosh, dude. First, the gym was closed during nighttime, so no one could have entered. Because mm -hmm. if you try to enter the gym at night, it'll go off. You talking about my butthole? What? No, she means the alarm. <laughs> After nighttime passed, morning came. But hiding the body before the show was. <laughs> Impossible! Kichi and Miyu are, are like y Yoko and Mikan. I know, right? Himiko and I were waiting in front of the gym before the morning announcement. Which leaves only one possibility. It was done before nighttime yesterday. Anyone who doesn't get this is just as stupid as the whore bitch lit over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she's loving that. <laughs> So the culprit placed Ryoma's corpse in the piranha tank before nighttime yesterday?
which means he was also killed during that time frame. Yay! Now we know what time the crime happened, right? Kikichi is actually funny. Yeah, he is. I still don't really get it, though. Can we narrow down the time of death a bit more? I'm sure we can narrow it down more if we consider the source of the information. Um. What? This? Kichi's account? Oh no! Damn it! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this, with this, with this. What? Not Kikichi. Oh, uh, no, that's not it. Wait, wait, it, yes, 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 I'm dumb. <laughs> I feel so stupid for that one. If we can find out who last saw Ryomo alive, we can narrow down the time of death. Hiromi, you were asking everyone when they had last seen him, right? Yes. Gonta was the last person who saw Ryoma. What? Really? And when was the last time Gonta saw Ryoma? Um, when Gonta was inviting everyone to insect meet and greet, so... Going to think that was maybe 8 p.m.? If he was last seen at 8 p.m. and was killed before nighttime officially began, then we can assume the crime took place between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. So all we must do is find someone with no alibi for that time period, yes? Simple enough. After all, most of us were detained. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not wrong there. If I Correctly, the only people that weren't there besides Ryoma that would be the four of us myself, Kaito, you, and also Maki. Well, Kirumi, you would tell the truth, even if it screwed you over. I do this. Aw, it is my duty to unveil the truth. Aw, I love Kirumi. I do not care if people suspect me. Aw, she's the best. Ah, beautiful. Your spirit of sacrifice <laughs> is just too beautiful. I will also say this. The crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night, and I was at the gym during that time. Hmm? But I was only there for about five minutes. Why would you even say that, though? You're tying a noose around your neck, you know. I don't care if it was five seconds. It's way too suspicious that you were alone in the gym. I think the cleaning lady here is the culprit. You killed Ryoma, didn't you? It's too soon to tell. We should hear what everyone has to say, right? Exactly. Fuck that noise! But Mew, you don't have an alibi for when the crime occurred either, do you? Mm-hmm. You think I'm suspicious? I don't even know where the gym is. That's a lie. Obvious lies make you more suspicious, Mew. The other two without alibis are Kaito and Maki. Let us hear your testimonies. I was in my research lab the whole time. I didn't go to the gym. But that cannot be proven, can it? Oh. What about Kaito? Only murderers grow out creepy facial hair like mustaches and goatees. He's not creepy. <laughs> oh my god. Glamorous celebrity celebrity vibe. Anyway, among those four, the culprit must be the one who doesn't have an alibi. I apologize, but given the circumstances, we have no choice but to suspect you. Suspect who? Who's the culprit? Wait up. Why are you guys suspicious of me? Here we go again. I've been helping the whole time. But wait, I remember now. I a mass panic debate yet? No, not yet. But I think it's about to happen right now, actually. You will see whether or not I am suspicious as the trial progresses. No I'm not way the I'm the culprit. <laughs> oh no, the mass panic debate is it's going to start. That's what you're thinking, right? Well, you're exactly correct, buddy. But let me give you another tutorial first. The mass panic debate this time around will have a loud voice dialogue. Oh man, it's, it's what. It's when one of your opponents shouts their opinions in a loud voice. That blocks out everyone's arguments. Even if you even if you can see a, see a weak spot, you can't refute it. Oh no, what do I do then? That's what you're thinking, right? Luckily, it's just like white noise. Set them up with the X button silencer. After that, all of the arguments will be audible again. 
Then you just shoot through, you shoot the truth bullet at the weak spot. You know the drill. Thank you for thank you for your understanding. Okay. Here we go. Mass panic debate. Start. Okay. I even tried to hide in the girl's bathroom. Until they left. What's Monkey's alibi? Okay. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? Oh shoot! No, in my own room. Jeez. Are you sure you did not? Wait, what? Okay. Mass bag debates. Oh hey, hey Spark. Just had to say hi. I cannot stay for long and don't want spoilers. Oh, we're, we're all good. Thank you. Thank you, Spark, for, for tuning in for a little bit. Scrummy Bays are some of the coolest things I added to this game. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. This is what everyone's statements. Just thanks, Spark. Thanks for stopping by. I need to sort out everyone's statements just like Kaede did. I need to calm down and focus on one at a time. I was only alone in the gym for about oh, oh, right. It's going to be this one, isn't it? Immediately after Kokichi left the ultimate into my logic's lab at 9 p.m. last night, he was caught by Kurumi in the entrance hall. He and stayed, it has to be this one. It has to be Kokichi's account. There we go. I heard it. I heard it. Hell yeah. Let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. <laughs> no, I think Kurumi is telling the truth. Kokichi's story proves it. Kokichi actually being useful? What? <laughs> right when I got, got to the entrance hall, Kurumi spotted me. This was right after I left Konto's lab, so it was about about around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me left and left and right and asking if I was up to no good. She was she bitch slaps the keypo, I heard it. <laughs> Love that. I heard it! She just kept talking when finally let me go at 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. A whole hour. Well, only the first half hour was a lecture, then we played tag for the other half. Kokichi met Kirumi at 9 p.m. And they were together until nighttime. Gonto went to the gym to catch Himiko and Angie five minutes before nine o'clock. After I left Gonta's lab, I ran into Kirumi. I'm pretty sure Kirumi stayed at the gym five minutes till nine o'clock. Kokichi playing tag. Oh my god, it's so much fun. <laughs> been told to us beforehand. Sorry, forgot. I definitely didn't keep it a secret to make the trial more interesting. Yeah, whatever. For God? It seems far more plausible that you are telling another lie. Yep. Unlike robots, we meatbags can't pull out our memories from our hard drive. <laughs> Was that supposed to offend me? <laughs> Your irrationality fills me with pity. Hell yeah. I, I like you a lot. <laughs> that would mean I killed Ryoma within five minutes. Show what Zoe. What's up? Who's my favorite? Who, like, character-wise? Transported him to the gym. Out, uh, and so far? Him. Well, not so far. But it's gonna be it's Shuichi. Is Shuichi's my favorite character so far. There's, there's nothing Shuichi has done to make me hate him. And everybody else, I like everybody else too. They're all pretty cool. If you but I like Maki Angie too. I like Anji. To like everybody. Shuichi is. I love freaking Shuichi. He's freaking awesome. All you would have to do is hide him in the piranha tank. Shoichi is the best pro tag. <laughs> Gonto was in the midst of heading to the gym to capture Angie. I mean, Kaede was pretty good too, <laughs> for the brief, for the brief time we knew her. Are you claiming I took advantage of that and called Ryoma for a rendezvous at the gym? Um, that would be pretty difficult. Maki is awesome. Really yeah, she is. Maki just, Maki just gives me a. Uh, Kyoko vibes. Maybe someone snuck into the gym while Kirumi and I were busy talking. You reminds you of, of Makoto? Uh, yeah, I can see that. The only ones capable of that are the other three with no alibi. Maki. Mio, Kaido, and Maki. Mm -hmm. Sumugi. I love Sumugi. I love Sumugi. <laughs> You're including me too. Come on, Mew. <laughs> but there's actually one person we can rule out of the suspects list. Which is. Right? There's one person who's totally not suspicious. Say who it is already. So she's Kyoko, but more emo. <laughs> it's Kyoko, but more emo. Love that. One person to get can be eliminated as suspect, suspect, according to a Kokichi. Let's be talking about the figure he saw. Oh, Miu. Miu. 
We need, who need to pin down who that was? The key to that fact lies in Kokichi Gonta Miyu's statements. According to what we saw, what we know, the figure Kokichi saw must be Miyu. That's it. Easy. Kokichi, you're talking about Miyu, right? You played through the trial again? Cool, cool. What? Miyu? <laughs> Yeah, you can take her off the list. Oh she my gosh. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you so so much. You're getting us closer and closer to that to that affiliate goal, that affiliate goal of 50. We need eight more royalties up in here and we're good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Eight to go. We're almost there. I appreciate it. Uh Chowitsui. Witzo. I'm going to call you Witzo, you don't mind because I can't really say your name. Chowitsui. <laughs> Suck it, nerds. <laughs> Eight more? I don't mind. All right, awesome. If you compare everyone's statements, there's no other possibility. Viewer average doing pretty good. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Yeah, I just noticed that. Ooh, that music. That's something new. I haven't heard that. Ooh. Yeah. A. <laughs> something odd. I saw a half-naked girl under wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. Mio's comments never get old. I know, right? <laughs> a girl Three viewer average can be the biggest hurdle. That's really good. Okay, let's keep it up then. Let's keep it up. Who else could it be? But the horny exhibitionist Mew. We can't just jump to conclusions like that. He just saw a shadow, right? I appreciate y'all being here a lot. I really do. Thank y'all. Seven more to go, y'all. That could have been anyone walking around in women's underwear. Even me. Really, Kaito? You really want to put yourself in that category? <laughs> in that category? Be a whole different issue. Free time events? I mainly just have Angie. That'd be a whole different issue. No, it's Mew, without a doubt. Mew and Gonta Don't kink shame. <laughs> I mean, I mean you're right. you know what? You're right. You're right. <laughs> I apologize. I mean, if he's into it, I mean... <laughs> kink shame is my kink. Love that. <laughs> Your face got hot? You mean you were hot on your trail, right? That's how Kaito feels comfortable with his body. That is true. She was her. She, what's, she, what's she called? Secret woman weapon. I, and then... Getting king shame is mine. <laughs> uh, uh, well... I, uh, had to use my secret woman weapon, and that... Let's just, let's just leave it at that. I see, I see. It's... Love that. All right. At least you're smart about it, I guess. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it, you cockroaches. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I think the blood rushed to both <laughs> of Gonta's heads because he got super embarrassed. <laughs> Thumbnail right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Gonta got, weird. got weird feeling. Feeling he never felt before. <laughs> so, Gonta ran <laughs> Oh my gosh, poor, <laughs> poor Gonta. Well, when you got the body of a goddess, it's only natural to want to flaunt it. I show my panties to the boys all the time. And I mean all the time. Alright, more power to you. <laughs> Gonta's giant You're teddy bear. He really is, yeah. Whoa. Most of that was unintelligible nonsense, but it would seem that Mew has an actual alibi. <laughs> unintelligible nonsense. <laughs> love that. I love Kibo. Freaking love Kibo. <laughs> yeah, it took a while, but at least we got everyone's alibis cleared up. Yeah, Gonta is a huge is a huge teddy bear. We should remember yeah, all Gonta is ultimate gentleman. All these events again. Okay. Alibis for yesterday has been recorded. Nice. Cool, cool. That leaves Kaito and Maki as the only ones with no alibis. Then one of them must be the culprit. But which one, I wonder? Easy, meeny, miny, mo. Catch the culprit by it. Hold on! 
job. Don't decide <laughs> just yet. Two prime suspects, Kaito and Maki. But something inside me doesn't want to accuse Kaito. I want to believe Kaito until he's proven guilty. I'll trust him. Uh, maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit w No, we should do something more fun. And I have the perfect idea. Uh, what's that? What? We narrowed it down to two people. And one of those two is the culprit, right? Yeah, the big buff characters are really definitely super kind. I love it. I love the character so much. Since we don't have to randomly accuse each other, finding the truth just got much easier. So let's find the truth with a more effective method. Bean. What is this effective method? If one of them is the culprit, then the innocent one should know who the guilty one is. Yeah? Okay. Because if you know you're not the culprit, then you can just accuse the other person. Yes, that is true. Which means there is one person among us who definitely knows who the culprit is. To that someone who knows, do your best to convince us. Work harder. Kokichi is an ass. <laughs> He's pretty cool. Also strong, strong, strong as fuck. Gonta lifting the manhole cover. Nekomaru tanking a bazooka blast. I know, right? That's, that was fucking crazy. And Sakura sacrificing herself for her friends. Yeah, definitely. Never forget. Never how forget that. Argue for their innocence. That's how we'll decide our culprit. Even if we did that, wouldn't they just pass the blame back and forth? And. Huh? You guys talk about cooperation and teamwork, but you're all afraid. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was definitely very sad during Sakura's trial. It was really just, whew, it was heart wrenching, heartbreaking. You're too scared to point your fingers at others, so you hide behind the word trust. How do you expect to find the culprit when you're all worried about each other's feelings? Oh man, I wish I could say Kokichi's wrong, but he's not. If you're planning to expose a liar. Then you have to corner them psychologically. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit. Damn. If we want to find the liar, I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. If you hate, he's right now. No more pointless deductions. All we need is for them to fight for their lives. God damn. So let's host an argument that's totally not boring but super fun. Damn. Okay. We'll catch the culprit in their lies when we find a contradiction. We'll scare the culprit until they screw up. That's oh my how God. Trial works. Fucking Kokichi, right, man. Monokuma? Development like that would liven things up a bit. Yep, I totally agree. I totally agree. Like totally. You're agreeing with Monokuma? Just whose side are you on? I'm on your side. I don't want to die either, you know. That's why we need to take this seriously. Hot debate to smoke out the liar. And how do you expect us to start this? Who do I think is a mastermind? Uh, that is hard to say. I can't answer that question right now. <laughs> that is hard to say. If you guys need some help getting started, I can give out the first topic. Our first topic is this. Ta-da! The Cubs pad. Not just any Cubs pad, but the one given to our latest victim. Makes sense, yeah. I, I don't I yeah it's, it's hard to tell at this point in the game. When we started investigating, I went straight to his room to borrow it. So it wasn't the culprit who took the video from his room; it was you. And the reason why I brought it out just for this occasion is because one of these two had Ryoma's Moda video. Dun dun dun. One of these two. Oh. Had it? 
And for They're both silent now. We need to know who this motive video belongs to. Take a guess, everyone. Whose motive video did Ryoma have? Who do I think had it? Motive video that Ryoma had was Kaito's or Maki's? I'm gonna go Kaito. I'm gonna go Kaito. I'm gonna think Kaito had it. I could be completely wrong. I tend to be wrong a lot, but yeah. I uh, don't know. You gotta go exercise. I don't know when I'll be back, so I'll always leave you with a lurk. Leave you with, yeah, with a lurk to keep your average up. And if you're not streaming when I'm back, I'll catch you next time, okay? Alright, cool, cool. Alright, cool. See you next time, Riper. Thanks again for the follow today, and I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so, so very much for being here. You go you go work out. Whose motive did we have? We had uh, Kaito's. I should, I should know the answer. Kaito, right? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I forgot. Wait, what did he ask? I, I didn't like... That's totally disappointing. I was wrong. Oh, it's okay, Shuichi. It's okay. Maki, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Get some of it back. Made these wonderful pieces. Maki's motive video, right? All right, cool. All right. Thanks, Riper. I'll definitely, I'll definitely let you know whenever we hit that affiliate. Hopefully, we hit that affiliate soon. Wow. How did you ever guess? After taking two wrong guesses. <laughs> That's how I guessed. Oh, I know, I know. It's because the motive video that you have belongs to Kaito. Process of elimination wins again. Yep. The obvious That's how That's how I did what? it. I, I just like I kind of guessed cuz I was kind of I was, was kind of confused with the questions. So I was just like, okay. This has to be it. Okay. Is that true, Shuichi? Yes, you're right. And what about that? Just because Ryoma had my motive video, that doesn't make me the culprit. <laughs> Finally, you said something! This is how a debate should be. I only brought up the motive video to make you talk. Excuse me? Dang. Okay, now that we have Dang, <laughs> alright. You and Kaito ready to argue. Kokichi's kind of annoying, but at the same time, he's kind of smart. <laughs> Remember, if you're not the culprit, then that means the other one is. Got that? Let's start this extreme death debate. Tear up the other's lies. Rip each other apart. Wait just a minute. What are you trying to... Quit screwing around. We don't need to debate who's a culprit. I'm not the culprit. That's for sure. Okay. Which means... Kaido, wait. Maybe Kokichi is wrong. Maybe he... But Maki isn't a culprit either. Okay. Huh? What? Oh, uh, he's like, what? Huh? Really? You're you love this part? Either of you are the culprit? Wonder why. We're about to find out, aren't we? Then what would be the point of this whole debate? Who cares about that? All I know is that neither me or Maki are the culprit. It's just a hunch I've got. Uh, <laughs> a hunch? A hunch? Are you freaking kidding me right now? <laughs> That's what Cookie just saying. Are you being serious? Yep. You do know all our lives are on the line here, right? And you're betting our lives on just a hunch? Huh. You don't get it. This isn't just any hunch. This is an official hunch from the Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. What? How illogical. <laughs> This is even more difficult to comprehend than Kokichi's antics. You're totally not serious. You can't be that stupid, right? No, he might actually but be that stupid. <laughs> Damn, okay. Damn idiot. A toa damned idiot. <laughs> A toa damned idiot. <laughs> hey, don't call me an idiot. Anyway, me and Maki aren't the culprit. There's no doubt about it. I believe in Maki. What? You believe in her? But based on what? Huh? I don't gotta base it on anything. No matter where the clues point. In the end, the only thing that matters is what I believe, right? Okay. Whether I believe or not. Whether I want to believe or not. 
That's the only thing that matters. So you do not have any evidence. This, that string of insults is just hilarious. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. Only baseless conjecture. Damn. But I totally get where he's coming from, cause I want to believe in Himiko. They're just all going off on freaking Kaito here. Want to believe, huh? Yeah, I think I understand that. Wanting to believe in someone is a beautiful act, yes. However, it is a sentiment that has no place in a class trial. He's an idiot after all. God damn! Mies? Really? I should definitely hit... I do want to get to know Miyu a little bit, so I probably should hit her up in the next chapter. It's okay to be idiot, as long as you believe in people. Guys, I said to be <laughs> idiot! Really hurts my feelings. I have feelings too, you know. <laughs> it's true. That's not what a class trial is about. You're supposed to think logically. You can't let your feelings into it. It's absurdity. Total, total absur absurdity. But then again, that absurdity did save me before, right? But why do you trust me, Kaito? There's a chance that I'm the co- I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? What? Isn't that why you believed in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but if I worry about that, I won't believe I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. You could agree with Kokichi when he was untaunting Miyu. You really? You could. If I can trust my logic, maybe I should trust Kaito's feelings too. It worked out in the end, so. I'll believe in Maki as well. Hell yeah. What? That's our Kaido, right? Making us think with our hearts. Man, you too? How could the ultimate detective believe in someone without proof? But there's no proof linking Maki or Kaido to this crime either. I believe in innocent until proven guilty. For now, mm -hmm. they are innocent. I go by that as well. Right on, Shuichi. I knew I picked a good site. <laughs> uh, and by the way... I might be the ultimate detective, but I'm in training. I told you that, didn't I? I'm just an apprentice, not a real detective. How do you plan to get closer to the truth without suspecting either of them? Unless you have evidence to the contrary, these two will remain suspects. So I just have to turn it around, right? Huh? It's not like I owe that idiot a favor or anything just because he defended me. Who do you think is the culprit? <laughs> I don't know. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to tell. The hopeless idiot may have encouraged me a bit. Oh. Seriously, enough's enough. <laughs> Stop calling me an idiot. What are you trying to say, Maki? I didn't want to say anything, but I can't stay silent forever. It was Kirumi. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kidding. I don't think it's Kirumi. Could be. You never know. <laughs> I don't know. I doubt it. So I'll tell you. Okay. Oh, tell us what? I met up with Ryoma during nighttime yesterday. What? What? What's? What? What's so? <laughs> don't give me that. <laughs> So Ryoma was still alive at nighttime? Ah! <laughs> Maki, how could you keep that from us for so long? <sighs> oh my god. Time took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night. But that's wrong, because I met up with Ryoma during nighttime. Maki lied? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. If that's true. Then we have no basis for suspecting only Kaito and Maki. That's right. Everyone suspected them, because they no have alibis for those times. That means me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. Quit fucking around. You think I'm dumb enough to swallow that line of crap? Oh, man. Yes. Oh, my gosh. It's going to get... too convenient. We asked everyone, but she had said she had not seen them. Right, right, right. That's right. Okay, yeah, that's right. She's Why lying, yeah. Wait until now to mention that. <laughs> it's totally obvious. 
Maki's so desperate that she has to lie. Was that a lie? Did Maki lie to us? It's true. We don't have all the facts. But why would Maki say that now of all the times? If I trust her innocence, I should believe in her statement. But should I? Oh, damn. Intermission. Ooh. Yes, we want to save. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I'm excited. I, I, I want to keep going. So what, what we're going to do, I am going to save. I'm going to end off this recording. So let me end off this recording real quick. All right, y'all. In the next episode of Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. Oh, oops. <laughs> in the next episode, we'll go ahead and start the second half of the trial and go from there. I hope y'all are excited because I know I am. So I'm excited. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're, we're about to do it. So thank y'all so very much for watching this episode of Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. And I'll see y'all next time.